thousands migrants move towards Mexico border to reach U.S. Between 7,000 and 8,000 migrants, including families with children, have entered Guatemala since Friday the first migrant caravan of the year comes less than a week before Biden takes office promising to adopt a more humane approach to migration than Trump, who made cracking down on illegal immigration a priority the first migrant caravan of the year comes less than a week before Biden takes office on Wednesday promising to adopt a more humane approach to migration than Donald Trump, who made cracking down on illegal immigration a priority of his administration. The incoming administration say they will work to address the root causes of migration, expand lawful pathways and rethink asylum processing. Biden has said he'll move to freeze new border wall construction, ending Trump's national emergency declaration and stopping use of Pentagon funds to pay for it. He also plans to begin reversing a wave of administrative regulations Trump imposed to limit legal immigration to the U.S. The incoming administration promises to resume acceptance of tens of thousands of displaced refugees, lifting the annual cap from just 15,000 in 2020 to 125,000 next year. Biden has also pledged to reopen the borders to asylum seekers who are now turned away to wait in other countries. People have been, living in, increasingly destitute situations. They've been victims of violence from the cartels, said Ali Nurani, president and CEO of the National Immigration Forum, an nonpartisan advocacy group. Right now, our asylum system pretty much does not exist. After years of tough talk by Trump about enforcement trades and large-scale deportations, Biden plans to initially scale back forced removals, according to his campaign policy blueprint. He will take office with an estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants still living in the shadows in the U.S., according to the Pew Research Center. Let's legalize their status. Let's make sure that they're on a path to own the American dream as citizens, Nurini said. But before any path to citizenship, Democrats say a first priority will be shoring up protections for more than 640,000 recipients of Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA. Trump attempted to kill the program, but in 2019 the Supreme Court saved a dash for now. In the meantime, immigration hardliners are warning a rollback of Trump policies will have dire consequences. If you reward the behavior of those coming across illegally, it's going to keep happening, said Morgan. Biden's critics say moves like rescinding Trump's travel bans on predominantly Muslim countries will pose a security risk and that expanding visas for foreign workers will only make it harder for out-of-work Americans to find jobs. The new administration vows to take both steps.